There's two reasons Kia has it tough here. They're coming into a very crowded SUV segment and they're a relative newcomer. So, do they pull it off with the Sorento? Let's find out. This is the second generation for the Sorento and all new for 2011. You might notice some styling cues from their competition, but overall the shape looks good. It is a pretty big car, but the overall shape and styling makes it look a bit smaller than it is. Nothing over the top with the interior, it just looks good and it's sensible. It's basically an all black interior, but if you look closely, there are some things that set it apart, like the white stitching here. And these faux carbon fiber accents. They almost look like a checkered flag. The pedals look like they were made for speed. And there's plenty of comfort features too, like heated seats and dual zone climate control. The touchscreen displays the audio, navigation, and backup camera. The steering wheel houses controls for the radio, cruise control, and Bluetooth. You also get dual sunroofs. In the back, cup holders, vents, and seating for three. Plus, the rear seats fold down, and there's the optional third row seating as well. Not too much room in the back with the optional third row seats, but just pull here, and there you go. Plenty more room for you. The optional 3.5 liter V6 sits pretty low in the engine bay. It also makes 276 horsepower and 248 pound-feet of torque. The optional 2.4 liter four-cylinder engine makes 175 horsepower. The V6 scoots you to 60 in 7.4 seconds, while the four-cylinder takes about 10 seconds. The four-cylinder averages 29 on the highway and 21 in the city, while the six-cylinder is only worse by one mile per gallon. The starting price range for the Kia Sorento is from twenty-one dollars to about $34,000, depending on how you equip it. This SX comes standard with all-wheel drive navigation for about just under $34,000. When you equip it with the $1,200 panoramic sunroof, well, you're out the door just over $36,000. So it's packed with a lot of options. Seems like a pretty fair deal. Outward vision is overall very good. There's a little blind spot in the corner back there, but they have a triangular window to take care of it. I think the Kia Sorento offers a lot of what people look to SUVs for. It offers optional seven passenger seating. The seating position is very high and it certainly has a lot of pep. You can also equip it with all wheel drive, of course, and it's got a towing range of 2,000 pounds for the four cylinder and 4,000 pounds for the six cylinder. When the going gets tough, you can engage the four wheel differential lock and you can also engage the downhill mode for towing. With a zero to 60 time of 7.4 seconds, there's certainly some SUVs out there that are quicker, like the Nissan Murano I just tested or the Mitsubishi Outlander, which also offers seven passenger seating. But this one does feel quick off the line, and I like the way the engine is placed low. That makes for better handling. So to some of the Kia Sorento here, they might be the new kid on the block, but they've learned from the competition well. They offer a lot of the same features and they offer it for less money. There's a lot of value here, there's a lot of safety, there's a lot of options, and there's a lot of bang for the buck. I'm driving Ivan Katz.